We have figured out what we're going to do with the second ADR. We're going to actually build a test rig that has both ADRs in it. So I've ordered the components for a frame and we figured out which electronics we have and what we need. So over the next couple of videos in this series, you're going to see us build up that test stand. Uh, the test stand is going to have uh, two purposes. One is going to be four wire measurements, which lets us measure resistivity and IV curves for superconducting devices. Um, and also to do MKID measurements in that stand. And then the second one is for a very special project that we've just proposed. And um, I'll fill you in on that when we get there. But for today, uh, before we can build the test in, I need to open up the second ADR. We need to get inside of it and see what we've got so we know what we need to buy because we don't have any of the wiring for the ADR. So we're gonna have to redo the wiring. Uh, so today I'm gonna mount this on the stand and uh, we'll see what's inside. We've got our 3 8 inch screws. We'll have to slightly move this to fit. All right, I think we can start dropping it. All right, we are freestanding. Now we can get in there and uh, see what we got. So the first thing we got to do is break the vacuum and then drop the shields, just like on the previous fridge. Unlike the previous fridge, this fridge is not under vacuum. So looks like this one was left with air in it. Shouldn't be a problem though. All right, so. All right, so with the um, vacuum can off, we can do a little inspection here, see what we've got. Uh, again, the loose tape, because it's old, all that needs to be uh, replaced. We have a bunch of coax. These look actually a little bit nicer than the previous ones. So we got coaxes. Uh, we got how many? Uh, looks like eight coaxes going down off this flange. The other flange, is not wired up at all. So those, those other eight coaxes aren't doing anything. And this main box up here uh, seems to be where the um, DC wires are coming in. Oh yeah, there's actually, you can see this has the same setup as the previous one. There's just a box that's sitting on top of it that's holding the thermometry and everything. And then there's some DC lines that are going down here. So we'll see what we've got in a minute. Uh, unfortunately though, uh, someone, someone put every one of these screws in. Oh no, this is going to, someone was very conscientious. This is going to take forever. All right, last screw. All right, let's see what happens now. Removing the 50 Kelvin can. Not very smooth there, but we got it off. All right, just the four Kelvin can now. So we can take this off here. This same conscientious graduate student has put every screw in. So it'll take a little while 
to give myself more room to work, I'll le I'll take off all the screws and then um, and then I'll take off the last two, maybe with support, maybe not. This is so light, I probably don't need the um, I probably don't need the lift. Just move it out of the way. So on this one, you'll see um, we've got the same coax is coming uh, down to four Kelvin. So we've got eight coaxes to four Kelvin. You can see they built in a provision to put eight more in, but never actually did it. Um, then there's this micro D connector that's, that's coming through here, bringing DC wiring in. Got the magnet wires here. Everything looks, looks pretty stock up to, up to this point. That one doesn't want to come out. We'll to oh boy. Uh, not a good sign that these bolts are different. I wonder what, what's going on there. I'll we'll have to figure that out. Okay, we'll skip one so that we can leave it hanging on just two screws. quite a hodgepodge of screws in here. Some are brass, some are stainless. Some have a different size. So we'll figure it out. So now I got to figure out what's going on with these two that don't want to come out of here. So they're probably 564. Let's see, or metric. Yeah, they're 564. Those are getting thrown away. Yeah, someone, those are, those are 256 screws. Someone seems to have jammed a 256 into a 440 hole. All right, so now we can take off the last remaining screws. There's one. I think this is, should do it. Pick that up later. All right, let's look at the four Kelvin stage. Oh, no, I missed one. Where is it? Oh, it's another flathead. No. All right, got it. All right, let's look at this four Kelvin shield. Oh, very interesting. All right, what do we got here? So we have our eight coax right here. Uh, there are some attenuators on the other side of the four Kel on of the four K plate. This is the ADR extension, so. There's a magnetic shield right here, but the magnetic shield is removed and instead they fitted a Helmholtz coil. So this is a magnet. So this is gonna be probably superconducting niobium tie wire in here. And this is designed to put a magnetic field on whatever's inside this, um, this uh, sample box, which presumably would be at, this is all at four Kelvin, I think. Actually, this middle part may all be at base temperature. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, then we have a bunch, we have another isolator over here. We have a bunch of, um, these are DC blocks. This is an RF switch over here. So that RF switch is doing something. Here's the, um, the connector that has the DC wires on it. So RF switch, and then there's a bunch of niobium tie and cooper nickel coax here going down to the experiment, which again is in this uh, box right here. So overall, this one also looks good. Um, I think we're going to be able to work with this. Won't have too much of a problem um, getting everything going. Just needs a little minor refurbishment. 
one thing I don't, oh yeah, here's the amp. So this has got another one of the low noise factory uh, hemps in there too. All right, so that's great. We have everything we need for uh, testing here. All right, so keep your eyes open. We're gonna have uh, more videos where we build a big frame to permanently mount these. We're gonna do all the plumbing to get the compressors hooked up to water cooling and get the gas lines in to the, uh, to the lab to power these things. And then we'll hook up electronics and we will give it a, a go. And so that is what's coming up. All right, thanks for joining us this time. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.